I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching the videos and posting excellent remarks. Here we'll discuss few questions which I've received from our subscribers. I hope their solution will help many others. So I've clipped three questions which are kind of similar. We'll just see how similar they are. Question number one is, a man could buy a certain number of notebooks for $300. If each notebook cost is $1.05 more, he could have bought 10 notebooks less for the same amount. Find the price of each notebook. Question number two. My friend's cottage is 80 kilometers north of Toronto. On return, there was less traffic and so our average speed was 4 kilometers per hour higher. We saved an hour. Find the speed of the car on the return. Question number three. Students of my class went to a restaurant for lunch. Four of them had birthday that day and it was decided that they will not pay for the lunch. The other students had to pay one dollar extra. How many students had lunch? You can now pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Question number one is a man could buy a certain number of notebooks for $300. If each notebook cost as $5 more, he could have bought 10 notebooks less for the same amount. For Find the price of each notebook. That's your question. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, there are three things here. One is definitely the amount which we have. And then we are talking about the number of notebooks and its rate, right? So these quantities can be related as um, we relate distance, speed, and time. So if the amount is A, which is $300 for us, and the number is N and the rate is R, in that case, we know what rate is. So rate is amount over number of items purchased. Now in our case the number of items are n which is n and uh, n minus 10 in the later case when the cost is increased by 5 and that is the rate right. 300 is the total amount correct. So, so we are given here that the difference in the rate is five dollars right. so so the difference in the rate is five dollars so first rate r1 is the amount is 300 and let's say you can buy n items the other one is when the amount is 300 however now you can only buy 10 less notebooks right Correct. So these are the two rates which are given to us and they help you to form the equation. What we are saying here is that $5 is the change in price, right? So if it is $5 more, that means the rate is more, correct? So that is what is given to us. So we can now write down the equation that the second rate, n minus 10, minus 300 over n is equal to 5. Does make sense to you, right? So we are trying to figure out what is R2 minus R1. We know this is equal to 5. That is what we are writing here. And that gives you the equation to solve. So clearly, uh, we could actually uh, take a common denominator. Since this is now in the denominator, we have to take a common denominator. We get n times n minus 10. We get 300n minus 300 times n minus 10, right? So we have 5. We'll cross multiply uh, 5 times n times n minus 10 equals 2. 
when you open this bracket 300 and 300 and gets cancelled and you get 3000 okay so we can divide this by 5 so we get n times n minus 10 equals to 3000 divided by 5 right. so, or you could write n into n minus 10 is equal to 600 okay. so that is the equation which you get here now that is a quadratic equation which you can solve opening this we get n square minus 10 n minus 600 equals to 0 now some of you can also think about two numbers which can give you 600 right that's the whole idea the two numbers are 20 and 30 right which are going to get here also so we are looking for a product of 600 minus sum of minus 10 so bigger number should be uh, negative so we can write this as n minus 30 times n plus 20 equals to 0 so that gives you two solutions that n could be 30 or n equals to minus 20 clearly minus 20 is not valid right not applicable for this particular application so we have n as 30 we need to find the price of each notebook right so which is the original price right so price or rate which we are talking about right now we know that originally there were 30 notebooks purchased and therefore we can now write down that price of original notebook is we have $300 correct so $300 divided by 30 which is $10 so our answer here is $10 okay so that is how we are going to find the solution of this question you could have answered at this stage knowing that 20 times 30 helps you to find 600 but that is what you do by factoring also perfect so I hope these steps are absolutely clear now let's take the second example which is my friend's cottage is 80 kilometers north of Toronto on return there was less traffic and so our average speed was 5 kilometers per hour higher we saved an hour so here time is being saved one hour find the speed of the car on the return so distance speed time we again make the similar triangle to solve the question right so let me write down and this is distance speed into time and what we are given here is saving time right so let's write equation in terms of time itself so time basically is distance over speed now we are given two different times since we know that the speed is four kilometers higher later right so let's say t1 time while going is 80 over let us say x then t2 while returning which is higher so it says less traffic and our average speed was four kilometers per hour higher higher means less time right so x plus four that is less time while going we took more time because we went slower correct the difference between the two is one hour so what we know here is while going we took longer time and so this difference should be 1. So we have the equation right there 80 over x minus 80 over x plus 4 should be equal to 1. That means I could take 80 common right and so we have here x plus 4 minus x over x times x plus 4 is that clear to you right we can cross multiply so we have 80 x and x cancel we get just the number 4 
equals to x times x plus 4 right which is 320 equals to x times x plus 4 now what two numbers could give you 320 you could think like this correct what two numbers could give you 320 right you will do otherwise also when you are factoring so the two numbers as you guess are 16 and 20 right they can help you get 320 uh, and with a difference of 4 right 16 and 20 right so you could get x as equals to 16 and x plus 4 equals to 20 that can actually serve the purpose but if you don't do a guess at this stage you have to continue right so we'll continue so we'll write down this as 0 equals to open the bracket x square plus 4x minus 320 now you have to do the same thing you have to factor so that product is minus 320 sum is plus 4 so what you get is that the bigger number should be positive so we have x plus 20 times x minus 16 that will give you a positive 4 and that gives you a solution that x is equals to minus 20 or x is equals to plus 16. now when we're talking about distance speed and time we're looking for positive values only so this is correct that is not applicable correct so find the speed of the car on return well x is while going on return speed is how much well the speed is x plus 4 so in our case it is 16 plus 4 which is 20 right so units will be kilometers per hour and therefore we can write down the answer which is 20 kilometers per hour so i hope you understand and appreciate how similar these two questions were so we actually followed exactly the same pattern to solve this particular question it looks different right now you'll here is the last question question number three students of my class went to a restaurant for lunch the bill came to 239.25 dollars four of them had birthday that day and it was decided that they will not pay for the lunch the other students had to pay one dollar extra how many students had lunch now this question is also very similar well, we have a fixed amount to be paid right and there are a number of students and they have to pay at some particular rate so the amount is fixed we know that one dollar more is to be paid and n is the number of students which we need to figure out now if all would have paid then everyone should have paid a over n right a is given to us as 239 now since all did not pay 4 did not pay so it will be a over n minus 4 correct and difference between these two this one is higher by one dollar that is what it is perfect so that gives you the equation and we know clearly a is given to us as 239.25 dollars so we can write down that the difference between what was paid was supposed to be paid is one dollar and this is since the bill is 239.25 we'll write 239.25 divided by n minus 4 minus 239.25 divided by n and that is equal to 1 so let's again cross multiply so we get 239.25 times n minus n minus 4 times 239.25 over n times n minus 4 and that should be equal to one dollar correct so when you open the bracket the first part 239.25 n and this cancel and we are left with plus four times 239.25 is equal to cross multiply 
So we get n times n minus 4, right? You can open this bracket. Multiplying by 4 means 0, 0, right? 1. 4 times 9 is 36, and 1 is 37, 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 is 15, 1. So we get 957 uh, dollars, which is equal to n times n minus 4. Now at this stage, you need to figure out two numbers whose product is 957. Correct? So that's kind of tricky. Okay. Let's take it to the other side open this bracket we have a quadratic equation now n square minus 4n and this goes there minus 957 equals to 0 so what two numbers could get in as a product of 957 and sum of minus 4 so you can try different numbers at this stage now since the last number is 7 uh, there are very few numbers which give you 7 right so 3 times 9 is 27, 30, 30 is 900. So the two numbers which can be tried here are 33 and 29, right? And their difference is also minus 4. So when you factor this, bigger number is negative. So we get n minus 33 times n plus 29 equals to 0. So that is true when n equals to 33. The other answer is not valid, right? So n equals to minus 29 is not valid. So we have total number as 33 students, correct? So we have our answer, which is 33 students in all, correct? That is how we can answer these questions. I hope you understand and appreciate the similarities between these three questions taken, the approach followed. The only shortcut here, of course, is if at this stage you can figure out the numbers faster, you could save some time. Otherwise, these are the minimum steps required to do such questions. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.